Life Philosophies Unleashed. Welcome to this insightful video on mastering self-control through the wisdom of Socrates and his philosophy of Socratic skepticism. Now, let's embark on a journey through the timeless wisdom of Socrates and discover how you can master self-control in five transformative steps. Imagine a life where you have the power to control your desires, pursue justice with unwavering commitment, and possess an intimate understanding of yourself. Socrates, the father of Western philosophy, offers us a roadmap to achieve precisely that. So, let's start our exploration with the first step. 1. Control your bodily desires. Socrates, the ancient Greek philosopher, left us with a profound message that transcends time and remains relevant in our modern world the need to control our bodily desires. While we may not be expected to adopt his extreme asceticism, the essence of his teachings holds invaluable lessons for our lives today. Socrates' statement, if you don't get what you want, you suffer. If you get what you don't want, you suffer. Even when you get exactly what you want, you still suffer because you can't hold on to it forever serves as a poignant reminder of the impermanence of life's pleasures. It encapsulates the core of his philosophy on self-control, urging us to look beyond the superficial and fleeting gratifications of our physical desires. In our contemporary world, emulating Socrates' ascetic lifestyle may indeed seem impractical and unattainable. The relentless pace of life, the temptations that surround us, and the demands of our daily existence can make it challenging to completely detach from bodily pleasures. However, it is crucial to recognize that Socrates' wisdom lies not in the strictness of his asceticism, but in the underlying principles of self-control and mindful living. The fundamental message from Socrates is clear. To achieve self-control, we must liberate ourselves from the constant pursuit of bodily pleasures. Whether it's the allure of delectable food, the comforting embrace of a drink, the allure of physical intimacy, or the luxury of material possessions, these desires can become all-consuming, blinding us to the more profound aspects of life. Socrates invites us to shift our focus away from these momentary and often superficial satisfactions and, instead, turn our attention inward nurturing our souls and seeking a higher purpose in life. This shift in perspective is transformative as it encourages us to consider a purpose that transcends our individual existence. Rather than an endless chase for personal desires, Socrates implores us to consider how we can contribute positively to society, make the world a better place, and pursue goals that extend beyond our immediate gratification. In doing so, we emancipate ourselves from the metaphorical prison of selfish desires. We free ourselves from the perpetual cycle of craving, attainment, and eventual dissatisfaction that often characterizes the pursuit of bodily pleasures. Socrates' teachings remind us that no matter how much we satisfy one desire, others will inevitably emerge, leaving us trapped in a never-ending quest for fleeting contentment. To embody Socrates' philosophy of self-control in our modern lives, we can start by setting meaningful goals that align with our values and contribute to the betterment of society. This might involve dedicating time and effort to charitable endeavors, pursuing a career that serves a greater purpose, or engaging in activities that promote personal growth and fulfillment. Furthermore, we can cultivate mindfulness and self-awareness to recognize when our desires threaten to overpower our rational judgment. By becoming attuned to our impulses, we gain the capacity to exercise restraint and make more deliberate choices. In essence, Socrates' wisdom encourages us to transcend the superficial and transient pleasures of bodily desires and embark on a journey towards genuine freedom and lasting happiness. It reminds us that self-control is not about complete abstinence, but about making conscious choices that align with our higher values and contribute to the betterment of ourselves. 
and the world around us. In doing so, we can truly embrace the profound teachings of Socrates in our pursuit of a more fulfilling and meaningful life. 2. Strive for Justice Socrates' profound belief in the importance of justice as a fundamental human virtue resonates through the ages. To truly grasp the significance of justice in his philosophy, we must explore the intricate interplay of reason, spirit, and appetite within the human soul. Firstly, Socrates identified reason as the guiding force within us. It is through reason that we can make wise decisions and set meaningful life goals. Reason is the beacon of light that illuminates the path toward a just and fulfilling existence. It encourages us to consider the consequences of our actions, to weigh the moral implications of our choices, and to strive for what is right. However, reason cannot function in isolation. It requires the support of two other components of the human soul, spirit, and appetite. Spirit is the emotional aspect of our being, the part that allows us to experience and express emotions particularly those related to passion, courage, and indignation. It serves as a guardian of the soul, defending it against external influences that might corrupt or undermine our moral compass. Appetite, the third component, is necessary for our survival. It drives us to satisfy our basic physical needs and desires, such as hunger, thirst, and the pursuit of comfort. Yet, if left unchecked, our appetites can lead us astray, as they often prioritize short-term pleasures over long-term well-being. Injustice, according to Socrates, emerges when our desires overpower reason. When we allow our appetites to dominate our decision-making, we become slaves to our immediate wants and needs. This imbalance can lead to regret, moral transgressions, and a life out of sync with our true purpose. Socrates offers a compelling solution to this dilemma, the cultivation of philosophical virtues. He argues that philosophers, individuals who prioritize intellectual pleasures over bodily ones, are better equipped to maintain the delicate equilibrium between reason, spirit, and appetite. Their lives, he contends, are 729 times as pleasant as those consumed by base desires. So. What can we learn from Socrates on justice and the importance of this balance within the human soul? Firstly, it reminds us that there is inherent virtue in being just. Justice involves prioritizing reason over the relentless pursuit of selfish desires. It requires us to think beyond immediate gratification and consider the broader implications of our actions on society and our own moral character. Secondly, Socrates invites us to detach ourselves from the allure of worldly desires. By transcending our insatiable appetites and focusing on intellectual and moral growth, we can lead more just and fulfilling lives. This process involves recognizing the higher pleasures of learning, self-improvement, and contributing positively to the world. Lastly, the pursuit of justice is not a solitary endeavor. Socrates encourages collaboration with others to build a fair and just society. By working together to uphold moral principles and promote justice, we can create a better world for ourselves and future generations. Socrates' philosophy of justice as a fundamental human virtue serves as a timeless guide to living a just and meaningful life. It highlights the importance of balancing reason, spirit, and appetite within our souls, and reminds us that the pursuit of justice is a noble endeavor. By embracing these principles, we can strive for a more just and fulfilling existence, both individually and as a society. 3. Know Yourself Socrates' timeless maxim, Know Thyself, reverberates through the ages as a profound call to self-discovery and introspection. This fundamental teaching emphasizes that self-knowledge serves as the cornerstone for self-control and the foundation for a deeply fulfilling life. To truly understand the significance of know thyself, 
it is essential to recognize that it extends far beyond mere superficial knowledge or the memorization of basic facts about oneself. Instead, it invites individuals to embark on a profound journey inward, delving into the very essence of their being. One facet of self-knowledge involves identifying your talents and passions. Each person possesses a unique set of abilities and interests that define their individuality. Recognizing and embracing these talents and passions is like unlocking the hidden potential within oneself. It allows individuals to harness their innate strengths, pursue their passions, and find fulfillment in their pursuits. Furthermore, delving into one's real personality is a crucial aspect of self-discovery. Understanding your personality traits, whether you lean towards introversion or extroversion, are analytical or intuitive, can provide invaluable insights into how you interact with the world and make decisions. For instance, someone who knows they are introverted might choose to schedule downtime after social events to recharge, while an analytical thinker may approach problem-solving with a structured, methodical mindset. Another critical dimension of self-knowledge is recognizing how you tend to make decisions emotionally or rationally. Some individuals are guided by their emotions, making choices based on their feelings in the moment, while others lean towards rational decision-making, weighing pros and cons methodically. By understanding your decision-making tendencies, you can adapt your approach to different situations, enhancing your ability to exercise self-control when necessary. Moreover, knowing how you handle conflicts is essential in the journey of self-discovery. Are you someone who avoids confrontations at all costs, or do you confront issues head-on? Recognizing your conflict resolution style can help you navigate challenging situations more effectively. It allows you to develop strategies for addressing conflicts in a manner that aligns with your authentic self. Additionally, understanding your vulnerabilities is a vital aspect of self-knowledge. We all have areas in which we are more susceptible to stress, anxiety, or self-doubt. Identifying these vulnerabilities empowers you to proactively address them. For instance, if you know that public speaking triggers anxiety, you can implement techniques such as visualization, deep breathing exercises, or seeking professional coaching to bolster your self-confidence. Self-knowledge is an ongoing, lifelong journey, characterized by reflection and learning from life's experiences. It is not a static destination, but a dynamic process of self-discovery and personal growth. Embracing this process requires a willingness to explore your innermost thoughts, feelings, and motivations, even when it may be uncomfortable. By embracing self-knowledge, you gain greater control over your life. You become more attuned to your strengths, weaknesses, and the factors that influence your decisions. This heightened awareness enables you to anticipate challenges and proactively plan your actions. For instance, if you know that a particular situation triggers emotional reactions, you can employ techniques to maintain composure and exercise self-control. Socrates' profound injunction, know thyself, is an enduring reminder of the transformative power of self-knowledge. To master self-control and live a fulfilling life, one must embark on a deep and continuous journey of introspection, seeking to understand their talents, passions, personality, decision-making, tendencies, conflict resolution style, and vulnerabilities. This voyage of self-discovery empowers individuals to navigate life with greater ease, make choices aligned with their true selves, and embark on a path to genuine fulfillment. It is a lifelong process, an odyssey into the depths of one's being, and an essential step toward a life well lived. 4. Seek Higher Pleasures Socrates, the ancient Greek philosopher known for his profound insights into human nature and the pursuit of wisdom, offers us a timeless lesson in differentiating between lower and higher pleasures. In his philosophy, he draws a clear distinction between these two categories of pleasures 
and guides us towards a life of lasting fulfillment and contentment. Lower pleasures, as described by Socrates, are the immediate and often fleeting physical gratifications we experience in our daily lives. These pleasures can manifest in various forms, such as indulging in delicious food, sipping on a favorite drink, or seeking physical comfort. While there is no denying the momentary satisfaction they bring, Socrates asserts that these lower pleasures fall short in providing us with enduring happiness. In contrast, Socrates champions the concept of higher pleasures, which revolve around intellectual pursuits and the joy of learning and understanding. These pleasures emanate from the realm of the mind and soul, transcending the limitations of the physical world. They are the pleasures that elevate us beyond the mundane and fleeting, leading us towards profound and lasting contentment. The allure of lower pleasures is undeniable. Who among us hasn't savored the delight of a sumptuous meal or the comfort of a cozy bed? These experiences undoubtedly add flavor and comfort to our lives. But Socrates reminds us that they are like mirages in the desert, enticing and momentarily satisfying, yet ultimately devoid of substance. Socrates encourages us to view lower pleasures as necessary for survival, but cautions against making them the focal point of our existence. When we become slaves to these immediate desires, we risk becoming trapped in a cycle of seeking ever greater sensory gratification. It's a cycle that can leave us perpetually dissatisfied and yearning for more, much like a hamster on a never-ending wheel. Instead, Socrates invites us to prioritize the pursuit of higher pleasures, the joys of learning, contemplating, and understanding. These intellectual pursuits have the power to elevate our minds, nourish our souls, and lead us to a state of genuine fulfillment. They allow us to explore the vast landscape of knowledge, connecting with ideas, insights, and the wisdom of the ages. The beauty of higher pleasures lies in their enduring nature. Unlike the fleeting satisfaction of lower pleasures, the joy of learning and understanding can stay with us throughout our lives, constantly expanding our horizons and enriching our inner world it's a path to happiness that doesn't rely on external factors or material possessions, but rather on the boundless potential of our own intellect. By embracing the pursuit of higher pleasures, we can break free from the relentless cycle of chasing after transient desires. We can shift our focus from the material to the intellectual, finding fulfillment in the exploration of ideas, the pursuit of knowledge, and the appreciation of the profound mysteries of the universe. In essence, Socrates reminds us that the true path to happiness and lasting contentment lies not in the accumulation of material possessions or the relentless pursuit of lower pleasures, but in the elevation of our minds and souls through the pursuit of higher pleasures. It is a path that leads us beyond the confines of the physical world and into a realm of intellectual and spiritual richness, where the joy of learning and understanding becomes the source of enduring fulfillment. 5. Transcend Selfish Desires Transcending selfish desires, as advocated by Socrates, is a profound lesson that calls for a shift in our priorities and a reevaluation of our life's purpose. In a world often consumed by the pursuit of personal gain and instant gratification, this teaching stands as a beacon of wisdom, guiding us toward a more meaningful and fulfilling existence. It's a common human tendency to seek personal wealth, fame, and pleasure. Society often celebrates these pursuits, equating them with success and happiness. However, Socrates challenges this conventional mindset urging us to broaden our horizons and consider a different path to fulfillment. First and foremost, Socrates encourages us to reevaluate the pursuit of wealth. While financial stability is undoubtedly essential, the relentless pursuit of money for the sake of luxury and indulgence can lead to a hollow and unsatisfying life. Instead, he prompts us to ponder how we can leverage our resources to make the world a better place. 
Consider this, instead of accumulating extravagant possessions, think about how your financial resources can be channeled into initiatives that improve the lives of others, whether through charitable donations, philanthropic endeavors, or socially responsible investments. You can use your wealth as a force for good. In doing so, you not only contribute to the betterment of society, but also find a deeper sense of purpose and satisfaction in your actions. Socrates also extends his wisdom to our professional lives. Instead of focusing solely on careers that promise personal gain or status, he encourages us to explore vocations that align with our skills and talents and have a positive impact on society. This approach allows us to merge our personal ambitions with a broader vision of contributing to the greater good. Imagine a world where individuals prioritize careers that genuinely serve the needs of their communities or address global challenges. This shift in perspective leads to the creation of innovative solutions, fosters collaboration, and ultimately contributes to the betterment of society as a whole. It's a path that not only brings personal fulfillment, but also helps create a more equitable and harmonious world. Socrates' teachings on relationships are equally profound. In a world often fixated on superficial attractions and fleeting romances, he reminds us to prioritize deep connections and shared goals. True happiness in relationships, according to Socrates, comes from bonding with others on a profound level, beyond mere physical attraction. Consider this, instead of seeking partners solely for their external attributes, focus on compatibility, shared values, and common life goals. By forming connections based on intellectual and emotional compatibility, you build relationships with a strong foundation that can withstand the test of time. These relationships are not driven by fleeting desires, but by a shared journey toward growth and fulfillment. In essence, Socrates calls us to transcend our selfish desires by redirecting our energies toward a more significant purpose, one that extends beyond our individual existence. By escaping the confines of personal desires and embracing a broader perspective centered on the betterment of society and the cultivation of deep, meaningful relationships, we attain true freedom and happiness. Socrates' timeless wisdom serves as a reminder that genuine fulfillment is found not in the pursuit of selfish desires, but in our ability to contribute to the greater good and connect with others on a deeper level. It's a profound shift in perspective that can lead to a life enriched with purpose, compassion, and lasting joy. Socrates' philosophy offers us a profound guide to mastering self-control. By learning to control our bodily desires, striving for justice, knowing ourselves deeply, seeking higher pleasures, and transcending selfish desires, we can lead lives of true wisdom and fulfillment. So, take these timeless lessons from Socrates and apply them to your own life. Embrace self-control as the path to genuine happiness and success. And always remember, as Socrates wisely said, the unexamined life is not worth living. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey through Socratic wisdom. If you found this video inspiring, please like, share, and subscribe for more valuable insights.